As syllables are the true building blocks of reading, it is crucial for students to understand what a syllable is. A syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel sound. Students can practice this with hand motions. What is a syllable? A syllable is a word or part of a word with one vowel sound. It is important for students to know how to identify a syllable and be able to count the number of syllables within a word. Concentration. How many syllables? Four. Breaking it down into syllables actually helps the student to be able to make that big word into smaller parts. What word are we doing? Hippopotamus. You ready? Here we go. Hippopotamus. How many do we count? Charlotte? Five. Five syllables. So go ahead and drag the number five to the word hippopotamus. When students are jumping, that student has to break that word apart themselves. Each jump is a different sound. That's really going to be built upon in higher grades. So when they see a three-syllable word in a science textbook, they're going to be able to start breaking that word apart. What's so important in understanding the patterns or the types of syllables is that consonant sounds mostly remain the same, but our vowel sounds change depending on these patterns. So some examples of the syllable types or the patterns that we find in English could be an open syllable. That's when you have a single vowel on the end of a word. The vowel sound is often long. Does everybody see our door? Mm -hmm. yes. We're opening our door. Does everybody see our door is now open? Yes. So what type of syllable are we going to be looking at? An open syllable. An open syllable. Y'all are awesome. So remember, our pattern, who can quickly remind us, what type of letter is the letter M, Zoe? A consonant. A consonant. What type of letter is the letter A, Elizabeth? A vowel. A vowel. So. What sound is my vowel going to be making if it's at the end of an open syllable? A long sound. Another type of syllable is the closed syllable. This is a syllable where you have a single vowel followed by at least one consonant. The vowel sound is often short. Are we ready for our door to close? Yes. Make that creaky sound with me. Ready? There we go. What pattern, Jackson, are you noticing? Consonant, vowel, consonant. So how does that change our vowel sound? It makes it short. You're absolutely correct. So, say it with me. Open, Open long, long, closed, short. Beautiful. So we're going to look at Revlock and we're going to check each of those syllable types. Revlock is a mnemonic that we use here at the Skank School. It represents the six syllable types, but it's not in the order that we might actually teach them. But to help the learner once they've learned all six to eliminate and identify which syllable type they're working with. Okay, let's move on to magic E. A magic E syllable is when you have a single vowel followed by a single consonant and a silent E on the end. That pattern indicates to children that the vowel sound will be long, even though it's followed by a consonant. An example of this could be cake. Adding the E to the end is the syllable pattern that makes that A say its name. Could you read this for me? R. R. An R-controlled syllable is when you have a vowel followed by the letter R. What's tricky with these syllables is the vowel sound is no longer long or short, but it's distorted by that R sound. It's when there is a vowel in front of an R, and it, the R makes the vowel say a different sound. Yeah, yeah. And some people call it bossy R, because just like you said, the R is bossing the vowel around. It's telling what the vowel sounds Other like. syllable types include vowel teams, which is when you have multiple letters representing the vowel sound, or a consonant L-E pattern, like the pattern B-L-E at the end of bubble. Lily, what does Revlock mean? Revlock stands for R controlled magic E vowel team consonant L-E open and close, and those are all syllable types. Very good.